Hi Lightroomers and welcome. Now I'm always on the lookout for ways of cutting down my mousing. I don't want to use this unless I really have to. And this is an absolutely brilliant technique for doing that. It's called Auto Advance and it's where Lightroom is there to help us out. So how does it work? Well let's go and have a look now. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. All right, so we've been out on a shoot and we've got all those images into Lightroom. And now we need to sort them out. What do we want to keep? Now we've got a rating system to allow us to do that. We can add star ratings, we can add flags or picks, or we can add color labels. Okay, let's add a five star rating. Now we'll do that by just pressing five on the keyboard. And that will add a five star rating to this first image. And then I've got to press the right arrow key to move along one. And if I want to put a five star rating on this one, then I'll press the five key. Or if I press the four key, I could put a four star rating on. Now this is okay, but Lightroom does give us a little bit of help to automate this and speed up the workflow. It's called Auto Advance. Let me show you how it works. If we go up to the photo menu and down to Auto Advance, and click on it. Next time I put a rating on, so let's say I'm going to put a five star rating on this image, so I'm going to press the five key. It not only puts that rating on for me, but it automatically advances to the next image. So if I could put a, say a four star rating on this one, it goes to the next image. I can also do it with picks. So if I wanted to press the P key, I could flag this image as picked and it automatically advances to the next one. I could do color labels. So if I want to say a red color label on this image, I could just press the six key and that puts me a red color label on. But you see, it just saves me all the bother of having to go through and keep pressing that right arrow key to, or to advance on. Well, there we have it, light rumors. A simple but little technique that can save your little clicky finger some clicking. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment under the video. And if you can, please subscribe and help me to grow my Photoshop and Lightroom learning community. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.